Ready for New Year's? Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I have some work to finish. You look phenomenal. Really. Uh, don't bail on me, okay? Because you, you know, you're going to this party with me, and you promised me that, just like I, I kept my promise to you. What was that? Okay, remember I told you that, uh, <laughs> by the end of the year I'd be able to blow a clean note? Yeah, you did. Okay, be ready to be dazzled. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. <laughs> One second. <laughs> wow, that, um, that sounds like an elephant being murdered. Something's stuck in here. Good music? It's funny. Can you come over here and try to, with your little hands, get it out? Cause, come here. What are you up to? Come over here. I'm just trying to fix the horn. All right. Something. I don't know what, what it is. Look. What is it? What is this? Call it your belated Christmas gift. It's a sketch. For the renovation of my restaurant. Oh, looks just like our old restaurant. Fortunato's in Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, the, the place we went on our first date 150 years ago. It was it that long? Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> it's also the place you took me when we were starting over again before you burned it down. Yeah, well, I was angry, you know, back mm -hmm. then. I'm not angry anymore. Not at, not not as angry. Anymore. I thought we were done looking backward. Well, well, there was you know we had a lot of bad times, but there were some good times. Like when I remember when I used to take you in the back of the booth of Fortunato's, and I used to hold your hand. <laughs> so what do you think? I think. I think it's good. Yeah. I think retro. Retro has its appeal. Is that your professional opinion? Well, it. It would use someone with impeccable style and taste to smooth out the rough edges. Yes. The restaurant, too. Yeah, we could use that. Did you find a place for the fortune teller machine yet? Do not need it. Because I, I, I already predict that next year is going to be better than the last one. Come on. Spinelli! Ah, oh, greetings. Where's my money? I assured you I'd find it in due time. Okay, the, the, but the days are running out, right? And the, the New Year's here, so where is... I think there's a few hours left before the New Year, if I'm not mistaken. Perhaps enough time for you to deposit this. 20 million? You can count the zeros if you like. Where, where, where'd you get this? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't want to know anything about it. Let's just take the money and run. What the hell are you doing here? Well, happy hey. new year. Yes. <laughs> Have you seen our daughter's wow. most beautiful wedding ring? <laughs> wow, that is so beautiful. Congratulations. Welcome to the family. If you need anything, you know. Dante and I are fine. Thanks. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get us some drinks. Yeah. Carly, I was thinking, now that Dante and Lulu are married, it's like the three of us are all kind of quasi-related, like uh, cousins-in-law or something like that. Uh, can't wait for that barbecue. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me, everybody. Can I get your attention? Everybody? I, uh, I want to start this night off by proposing a toast to your uh, wonderful hostess this evening and my mother, Carly. I'm sorry, I'm not really sure what last name we're going with nowadays. It's still Jax, right? <laughs> Just bear with me, Mom. So this night is a tribute to my mother. A woman with many accomplishments, but yet still she puts her family first. A glowing example of knowing what you want and getting it, no matter who got in her way. And isn't this an amazing place? I mean, come on. Well, let's hear for Carly. Come on. Let's hear for Carly. Come on. But it's, 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 a, it's a shame that her partner in this establishment can't be here. My stepfather, Jax. 
We, uh, we miss him very much. Don't we, Mom? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah. It was such a terrible tragedy when Jax's plane went down, plunged into the harbor. I mean, nobody could have survived a crash like that. I mean, it didn't really help us. The grieving process, considering Jax's body was never found. Isn't that right, Mom? What are you doing? It's a toast. Michael, let's go. No, 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 I'm still talking to Mom. Jax is dead, right? He's dead. Because dead is dead, there's no coming back from that. Why don't you ask Abby? Oh, that's right, no, you can't, you can't ask Abby. Why don't you ask me? Maybe this was too soon for you. Mom, well, well, why don't you answer the question? It's a simple question. Why don't you tell all these people what you've been saying for months? That Jax is dead. Only only you can't say that, can you? Because he's not. Jax is alive, and you knew it the whole time. Just admit it, Mom. You knew Jax was alive this whole time. Hey, Michael, why don't I take you home? No, I'm not going anywhere. You answer the question, Carly. Is Jax alive? I saw him at an airport. My mom wants me to think it was just my imagination. That grieving over Abby was messing with my head. Abby, can we just go home and talk about this? The home, please? home, the home that, that, that you lived in with Jax, the home that he built for you. How could, how could you lie to us, Mom? Forget me, how could you lie to Morgan? You know how much he loves Jax. Me and Jocelyn growing up without her dad. Answer him, Carly. I thought I was doing the right thing for my kids. Answer the question, Carly. Is Jax dead or alive? I don't know. I don't know. I can't be sure. Well, you sounded pretty sure when you were Sean, Mom. Don't you dare stand there, Carly, and lie to our son. If you know Jax is alive, say something! You know what? I've had no contact from Jax. I have not heard from Jax. But two weeks after the crash, our yacht, the silent lady, was missing. Well, did you report it to the police? No, I uh, told the harbor master that I sold it. Well, one more lie. If Jax was alive and he took the silent lady, I couldn't let Sonny find out. Oh, so, so somehow it's my fault? No, I, yeah, you know why? Because I wasn't gonna let you finish the job. And if Jax wanted to disappear, who the hell was I to stop him? So this is the proof you have? You, a stolen boat and a sighting in an okay, airport? there's been some activity in his foreign bank accounts. And his mother never called. She would have reached out to Jocelyn if Jax were dead. So you believe he's alive? Yes, I do. Yes? And you're just telling us about this right now? You just thought it was okay for us to go on believing he was dead? That's not why she did it, Alexis. She did it so I would take the damn blame. Carly, see what you've done with all your lies? I am not going to stand here and fight with you when okay, our son needs don't, don't, don't hide behind don't me, Mom. You're the one who made us all grieve this over somebody who wasn't even dead. Jax. Baby, this isn't about Jax. Okay, this is about Abby. Don't, don't, don't even say her someone. name. Don't even say her name. Not after the way you used her. You know that's not true. Mom, I just came home from scattering her ashes. I, I was looking for something, anything to hold on to. I was practically begging you to tell me that Jax is still alive. But you lied to my face because you lie to anyone. I was trying to protect Jax. Okay, that, that's the, all. The, the only way to blame me was to make everybody think that Jax was dead. That's what happened, you right? You chased Jax yeah. all around okay. town the night of that storm. Uh. You fired off a gun in Robin's living room. You tampered with the plane right before it crashed. If my daughter would have been on that plane, we she would have been what killed. He did. Okay? There was no justification for what he did. It's not about him, but this is about you. You knew about this for months, Carly. Yeah, and if Jax wanted you to know about it, he would have picked up the phone and called you. Maybe he would have sent you an email. Jax wanted to disappear, and I backed him on it. And Mom, what you did was you chose to let Morgan cry himself sick. Let Jocelyn keep asking over and over again where her father is. I just thought that I was so doing you, the do you right remember, Do you even remember what it's like to lose somebody that you love? Knowing you don't get to, get to, to hear their voice, get to see them smile. When you wake up every morning, you wake up every morning, and you think just for a second that they're still there with you, but they're not. They're gone. I mean, it is the worst feeling in the world, and you put your kids through that. 
over a lie. Michael, wait. Let him go. Don't touch me. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. Get... Uh, everyone, show's over here. Why don't everyone just uh, mingle or something? I'm through. Come on, Sonny. Let's just get out of here. No, I... please get him out. Of here. What did you say? I said get him out of here. Why don't you apologize to him, you lying bitch? Who you, Kate? I tried to save Jax. You should be grateful I about that. I can't believe you let everyone think that I killed Jax to give you an excuse to take my son away. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to have to tell Morgan that Jax was dead all over again after you killed him for real. You pushed this too far. You know what? You screw with me, I don't care. But you don't mess with my kids. What I did was right. And I'd do it again. I may be a liar, but you're still a killer. I try to turn everybody in my life against me. Try to make them think that I did something that I didn't do. You turned everyone against you. You ran around town like a maniac, firing off guns, trying to push people off balconies, screaming at everyone that got in your face. Well, Carly, he might not have lost control if he knew if Jax was alive. He might have had people that were willing okay. to help him. Okay, don't waste your breath. She will never, ever admit she's wrong. I wish I could have told Michael and Morgan the truth, but then they would have had to choose between protecting Jax mm. and lying to their father. Oh, so you were being noble? You were just <laughs> lying to their faces? Huh? Is that what you were doing? By sending my son off to a glorified prison? This is horrible. Why won't someone stop this? I can't stop when they get like this. It makes me sick. Where is Jax now? I'm not going to tell you in front of Sonny. You paint Sonny as a remorseless killer to justify your he own lies. He is a remorseless killer. And if you don't know that by now, then you don't know him as well as you think you do. At least I'm not somebody who runs away from his life, hides and leaves his, his children without a father. What kind of man does that? Maybe a man who knows if he shows his face, you're going to kill him. Where is Jax? Screw you. It doesn't matter if you tell me, because Michael will. He's not going to tell you anything about Jax, least of all where he is. you got no idea what Michael's doing or not doing, because with all your lies, I don't think he wants to see you again, Carly. Michael is just grieving over right, Abby. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, he's just lashing he's, out he's because lashing he's hurt out right now. At you because you lied to him about your ex-husband. I'm sorry, it's not your ex-husband. It's your current husband because you refused to sign the divorce papers. You didn't want to get your hands out of those deep pockets. Oh God, that should have been the first doing? clue that he's still alive. What are you alive. doing? I thought you would be thanking me. I was trying to protect Jack so Sonny didn't finish what he started. You want me to thank you? I want to kill you. <sighs> You're the one that just pushed him so hard he had no choice but to file for divorce or custody, and then you drag him into it. I didn't drag Sonny into anything, Alexis. This is all your fault. You're the worst thing that ever happened to any of them. All of you, stop. You know what? You can dress this up all you want, and you can try and blame this on me. Sonny is the one that chased Jax all around town with a gun, fired off the gun in Robin's living room, and then sabotaged the plane Jax was on. Because you drove him to no, it. No, I didn't, Alexis. Brenda did. Do you remember her? Yeah. And then she took off with Jax. She pissed Sonny off. She hurt his pride so bad that Sonny decided to kill Jax. Do you not remember that? Are you not going to admit to that? Because your fan club is standing here waiting to hear all about it. See, they don't see you for who you really are, because then they might have to admit that they have the hots for some guy, some criminal, who doesn't give a damn about anybody but himself. I do give a damn about my children, though, okay? And I thought that you did, too. But I guess I was wrong, because you lied to Michael, and you took Morgan away, my son, for no damn reason. Hey, Alexis, why don't you tell Sonny why I sent Morgan away? Because you're manipulative and vindictive? That's rich coming from a woman who spent, I don't know, almost all of Christina's life trying to come up with new and creative ways to keep her away from her father. And you were the first one to point out how wrong that was. Because when you were with him, he was great. When you weren't with him anymore, he's the Antichrist. Please do something. Will one of you stop this? Don't you Carly, dare. Carly, you knew Sonny was having stuff. an episode, and you did nothing. In fact, you made it worse. Oh, but I let you take care of him, Kate. Isn't that what you really wanted? You wanted to save Sonny? And Alexis, shouldn't you be just going off on Kate? Because you've always wanted to save Sonny and make him morally acceptable for your kid, right? You know what? You're about to lose a child. How are you going to feel about that? Because Michael doesn't want to have anything to do with you. And you deserve everything you get at this point, Carly. Michael is grieving. That kid is hurting. And you, of all people, should know what he's going through. Well, it's your fault! You lied! Don't put it on me! 
It's not Sonny's fault that Michael's finally had enough. Who the hell are you to judge me? I mean, really? Who the hell do you think you are? And you know, I'm wondering why you went back to work for Sonny. He's still the same criminal he always was. But no, suddenly now, you're willing to take him on as a client again. What's Sonny holding over your head? I, really I mean, really, how many times have we all had to hear you go on and on and on about how you will never represent Sonny again? I mean, how many jabs did you make at Diane because she was defending Sonny? But man, here you are, back on retainer. He's blackmailing you. That's your tactic. No, I mean, you're going off on me for keeping secrets and lying. Do tell, Alexis. I mean, did you, did you shove another someone off a balcony? Did you sleep with another married official? You Do may be tell. right. Might be time to intervene. I'm tired of being so hateful. No, I'm so sick and tired of being looked down on by you. You turned your back on Sonny because your feelings were hurt. He dropped your neurotic ass <sighs> and came back to me, and you've never gotten over it. And then he dumped you because you are a raging bitch! Jax fled to the other side of the world to get away from you. You annoyed him so much that he faked his own death. Jax isn't hiding from me, Alexis. He's hiding from your client, so you're going to have to make a decision. If Sonny tries to kill Jax again, what are you going to do? Are you going to defend him? Or are you going to let Sonny blow your big secret, whatever it may be, sky high? We will no longer I'm engage. I'm a killer. We're not going to let any uncomfortable truths, whatever they may be, come to light. Come on, come on. Well, are you satisfied now, Carly? Have you got enough attention? Have you heaped enough blame on everyone else for what you did? Do you know how pathetic you are? How? I mean, Sonny got you shot on your wedding day, and then he left tire tracks down your back running towards Claudia Zakara so he could have a little piece of the Claudia Zakara you know fortune. Back off, Kate. Don't you mean Connie? I mean, your big first true love? Or was that Brenda? Or how, wait, where is she? Was it Olivia? I mean, there has been so many, hasn't there? Mm -hmm. I mean, you love so many of them, and then guess what? Then you don't. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they see you for who you really are, and then they just run screaming mm -hmm. until you find another true love. You know what? Can you think about Michael for a second instead of doing what you love to do, which is tearing into me and trying to make me look bad? I got a better idea. Mm, what's that? Why don't you send Morgan home so I can see my son? and repair the damage that's already been done. It is so typical of you to use your kid's pain to get what you want. At least he's thinking of his children, Carly. For someone who prides herself on being such a great mother, you seem to care very little about how devastated Michael is about what you did. Who the hell are you? Who the hell am I? Yeah, what are you Enough! Do you even know? Enough! Dante called. There's been an accident. Michael. Are you okay? Don't, Mom. No, you're angry with me right now. I just want to know if you're okay. Look, I think he's all right. Why don't you guys wait here? I'll take him to get checked out. Michael, get the hand checked out. Call me, okay? There's nothing to talk about. I'm fine. See what you did, Carla? He could have died tonight. I'm not going to fight with you here, okay? I'm not going to do it. Why can't you admit what you did? Say you were wrong for lying. Okay, as soon as you admit that you tried to kill Jax. And as soon as you swear on our kid's life that you'll never do it again. Jason, what happened? I was, I was on my motorcycle, and it was dark, and Michael just, he walked out in the middle of the road. I had to ditch my bike, and when I came to, he was a few feet away. Listen, he needs to get checked for a concussion. And, and I'm going to go talk scan, to the doctor right now. What about you? You said you blacked out. If you want to do something for Michael, why don't you leave? His father's here. I'm not leaving my son. Oh, Carly, I don't think anyone's buying your concerned mother act. You don't belong here, Kate, any more than you belonged here the night Michael was shot. I'm here for support, Carly, something that you're clearly incapable of. I'm capable of ripping your hair out by the roots if you don't shut up. <laughs> what a piece of work you are. Playing the grieving widow, turning everyone in Sonny's life against him when you were the reason he spiraled out in the first place. <laughs> Sonny spirals out of control because that's what Sonny does. You need to get that through your head. Talk to the doctor and uh, the test. He thinks Michael's gonna be fine. Oh, thank God, thank God. So if you you need to go see your daughter, whatever. I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. So you, everything okay here? Morning. Now 
now that you know about Jax, if he is so much as cuts himself shaving, I will come down on you like a ton of bricks, and then I will turn you over to the cops. And I want you to stay the hell away from Michael. You think Michael's ever gonna forgive you? He's not, because he's done with you. And so am I. Let's go. You ready? Yeah.